Looking after your hands at work in healthcare. This video is for anyone who has to wash their hands frequently at work, but it is particularly important if you already have sensitive skin or eczema, even if it was just when you were a child, because you are more at risk of developing skin problems known as dermatitis in relation to your work. Problems with the skin are really common in healthcare, even for people with completely normal skin to start with. It can be hard to treat once it's started, so it's better to prevent it in the first place. The frequent hand washing needed in healthcare can irritate the skin and cause a condition known as occupational eczema or dermatitis. In this condition, the skin can feel dry, itchy, sore, cracked, with blisters and reddening. Cracked abnormal skin has been shown to carry significantly more bacteria and increases the risk of causing cross-infection. There are some simple steps you can take to protect your hands at work and avoid developing dermatitis. Avoid irritants both at home and at work. Wash your hands correctly and carefully. Moisturise your hands really regularly. Check your hands for signs of dermatitis and report any problems you notice promptly. At work, we have to clean our hands before patient contact or any aseptic task and also after any exposure to body fluids or contact with the patient or their surroundings. But soap is very drying and irritates the skin. Therefore, it is better to clean your hands at these points of contact using alcohol gel. Alcohol gel can sting if the hands are already cracked and abnormal, but it won't dry the skin out in the way soap does. There are two situations when the alcohol gel is not sufficient and you have to use soap and water. If the hands are visibly soiled or if the patient has infective diarrhoea, for example with Clostridia difficile or norovirus. If you already have hand eczema, you should use the alcohol gel as your hand cleanser and Occupational Health can provide you with a detergent-free soap substitute. You must follow trust policy when washing your hands, but in addition, use lukewarm, not hot water. Rinse the soap off carefully, pat your hands gently till they're dry, don't rub and make sure you dry your finger web spaces carefully where soap and water collect. But finally, if you're washing your hands regularly with soap and water, you need to be using a moisturiser regularly. Hand washing strips the moisture from your skin. Therefore, we recommend the frequent use of moisturiser cream throughout the working day, particularly if you're taking any kind of break from clinical work, such as a lunch break or at the end of the working shift. Moisturising hand cream should be available to all staff in all clinical areas and if you're not sure where to find this, speak to your manager. You should only use the pump action moisturiser provided and never bring in your own tubs of cream. If you have to bring in creams for a medical reason, speak to Occupational Health for advice about how to use this. For some people, regular glove use can also irritate the skin. Only use gloves when it is appropriate to do so. You can check the World Health Organization glove use pyramid if you are unsure whether gloves are indicated. Generally gloves are not indicated where there is no potential for exposure to blood or bodily fluids or infectious contaminated environment. You do need gloves if there may be exposure to blood or bodily fluids, contact with mucous membranes or non-intact skin, or if you have been advised as part of infection control, contact precautions or in outbreak situations. But glove use does not replace hand hygiene requirements. Unless specific contact precautions are in place, gloves are not needed, however, when undertaking patient observations, performing subcut or IM injections, bathing, dressing or transporting patients, or caring for their eyes and ears where there are no secretions. There are things you can do at home that will also significantly benefit your skin. Any hand wash that makes a foam contains detergent which strips moisture from the skin. At home, you can change to a much gentler, soap-free hand wash that is much less drying to the skin, but just as effective at cleaning the hands as standard household soap. 
At home, use plenty of greasy emollient creams. Ideally, this should be a non-perfumed over-the-counter product, such as Epiderm or Hydromol. Skin irritation is cumulative, so avoid contact with irritants at home to help your hands at work. Use gloves when washing clothes or dishes, or when in contact with any skin irritants. Skin irritants often have a warning on the package to advise you to use gloves when handling them. The commonest skin irritants used at home include washing up liquid, cleaning fluids, bleaches, furniture polish, washing powders, shampoos, soaps, sterilising fluids and solvents such as nail varnish remover. Check your skin regularly for early signs of dermatitis and report any concerns to your manager and occupational health. For example, if your hands start to get dry and flaky. The skin can appear red and feel very sensitive and you may notice itchy blisters on your fingers or palms. If you do report a problem to occupational health, we can offer you a confidential appointment to consider what factors are exacerbating the problem. We can offer you stronger alternative emollient treatment, hand washes and gloves, and if necessary, refer you on to a dermatologist for further investigations and advice. If you develop certain skin problems, you need to stop patient contact and seek clinical advice. If areas of the skin start to look wet or has straw-coloured crusting around the affected areas. If you see yellow pus under the skin or if there is increasing pain or redness around an area. If the rash is spreading away from your hands or you develop a temperature or start to feel unwell, it may be infective and you need to seek further advice from a medical professional. So to summarise, to keep your skin healthy at work, Avoid contact with skin irritants, both at home and at work. Wash your hands carefully and correctly. Moisturise your hands really regularly. And check for early signs of dermatitis. And report any problems promptly to occupational health.